The fader setup function allows you to assign which channels are on which faders of the input, bus, and matrix layers so you can configure the console for the needs of your show. The insert function will insert a blank channel to the left or the right of the selected position, moving all the other channels one space left or right accordingly. The second function associated with fader setup is assigning a fader, where you choose which processing channel is going to appear on which fader of which layer. In this example, we're going to move two of the stereo channels from layer B onto layer A. This is how we'll make that new stereo assignment. Switch to layer A. Select the fader whose assignment I want to change. From the LCD screen, I choose from the available channels, in this case, stereo inputs, and I'm going to assign stereo 1 to this fader slot. Repeat the process. Next fader, and I'm going to assign stereo 2. And it's done. We've made a copy of the stereo channels, fader assignments, onto these two faders here of layer A. The third function associated with fader setup is shift. This simply moves the position of the selected channel, one position to the left or the right, provided that slot is vacant. Shift, 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 shift. That's just about it for the fader setup function. I hope you thought that was easy to use. But if you've made any changes and you don't like them, you can get back to the factory default in a moment simply using the Reset Layer button, which will recall the factory default layer back to the surface.